All right, just give me one second. Just give me a quick second. I want to make sure I can hear everything because I'm using this new microphone and I uh, just got to get my stuff set up. I got two phones. All right, just give me one second. I want to make sure I can hear. Well, that answered that. That answered that. That's for sure. I got two phones. I got two coffees, one laptop. I got two lights. And I got nine lives. So, is that the truth? Give me one second. I want to hear myself real quick. Make sure it's good. Right, all right. Keep this playing in the background. A little, a little atmospheric, atmospheric noise. Uh. One's got cream. One is just straight black. A uh, coffee company that I'm uh, working on here name on a box of coffee or something passionate coffee so it's been almost two and a half months I have not drank any Red Bull so is that worth a thumbs up maybe thumbs down whichever one all right so let me just get to the point here because uh, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go real long and you know I kind of messed something up normally when when normal people do Q&A's and normal people do them what happens is they put out a, uh, a list or, or something where they give people the opportunity to answer questions. So this way, you know, it's not all unorganized and stuff like that. But with that said, I'm the furthest thing from normal. I'm not normal at all. So I do everything kind of like, you know, backwards, half ass stuff like that. It works. It works most of the time. So here's what I got. Let me let me give you my uh, let me give you my setup here. And it's good to see you guys, by the way, you know, um, <clears throat> good to see you. Coming back out of the, the dark cave. All right, so I got I got both phones here. One phone is for YouTube. One is for Facebook, and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to skim through and and see you know if I can see any questions that you know art related type stuff or whatever. Um, but I think I, I want to say a few things. I'll do that before we end it about what I'm future, but um. I think it'd be a good idea for me to actually put out a list of, of some kind tomorrow night or the next night, like an actual official. official uh, I was just so excited to turn the camera on, do something. And uh, so what do you think about that recent painting I did? Did anybody see that or no? Can you see it? Nope, can't see it. Uh, maybe I'll take it off and show you. So it's like this uh, y Yosemite, Yosemite National Park. I don't know what mountain that is. But um, so the girl that sent me the picture, um, her her boyfriend is um, I guess like the main character in um, 13 Reasons Why on Netflix. His name's Devin Ruid. Ed asked me to do it, and I I've never done anything like that before, and I and I just jumped right into it. So the video that I did make, if you, the video I made, if you watched it, I just kind of like went in expecting failure. And, uh, you guys can be the judge on how it turned out. I had fun making it though, that's for sure. All right, just give me a second. I'm gonna look down here. Can you guys hear me okay? I mean, I thought I heard myself okay. Well, you're gonna hear an echo. I get like PTSD, anxiety about this whole not hearing me thing. Cool, I like that little beat in the background. I don't know, that, that song is kind of growing on me. You know what I mean? Kind of growing on me, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to go back and forth. If I don't if I don't get if I don't see your question, please don't take offense to that. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Um, do I have my email address? No, I have my PayPal address. Oh, by the way, if you want to donate to me, absolutely go ahead. Feel free. It'll just keep me doing this more. If not, you know, I'll uh, I'll be homeless. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to have a sense. But um, all right. So if I miss your question, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, when I'm done this tonight, I'm gonna to put a uh, my email address like where I want you to if you want to ask questions or maybe Instagram or something and then you guys can ask a bunch of questions and maybe we can actually do an official one tomorrow so this way I can have a list I can read off you know do it the way that normal people do pretend I'm normal for a bit, a couple of hours all right so I'm over here on YouTube side right now so we have YouTube Facebook 
be the YouTube coffee, Facebook coffee. All righty, all right, what do we got? All right, Nick, here you are, bud. Hey, I'm glad to hear that you got that audio thing fixed. Nick recorded an entire video and thought he lost all the audio, which is is the worst thing ever, but we got it straightened out. How, how long does it take? How long? Okay, so Nick is asking me, how long does it take for one of your tutorials to upload? Okay, that's a good question. I didn't see that coming. About an hour. So I, where I live, um, it, there's not too much civilization where, where I live. So um, with that said, there's like a couple of towers that, you know, Send the internet or whatever, but it takes a little while. It's like uh, it's like sending one of those telegraphs back in the 1800s. So it takes about an hour, sometimes two hours, to upload a 45-minute video. Okay. All the painting. Okay, so people saw the video. That's great. Oh, uh, it's uh, yeah. I, you know, I thought it was a fun video. All right. Oh, I love seeing all the channel members in here. That is so cool. So. Speaking of that, I got to talk to you guys, but I'll do that on a, another thing, not on here. So I got some some really exciting stuff to do. Get excited! Uh, we got here. What's your okay? So Scott, Scott's asking me, what is your preference on black, ivory black, or midnight black? Having a hard time getting uh, having a hard time getting midnight black. So I've used ivory. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. I feel claustrophobic. I feel claustrophobic with these headphones on. Why do I even have these things? What am I doing? Hello, hello. Hold on one second. Can I even hear myself? You guys can hear me. Hello, hello. One second, guys. Okay, so Scott, here's the deal with the with the three different kinds of blacks. So you're talking oil paint, so ivory black. There is. Let me get back to the question because I have my memory uh, only lasts for a few seconds. Um, okay, so we have ivory black, midnight black. There's two of them. Okay, sorry, there's two of them. Okay, so ivory black or midnight black is a, is a Bob Ross black, and it has this beautiful little purple color in it. And it's, it is hard to, well, I guess you can get the newer kind, um, but I'm not going to comment on that because it's, I don't like the quality. I just commented on it. What an idiot. Um, so here's what I do, Scott. So you can do a couple things. I use ivory black all the time now. That's all I use. But if you want to, you could actually take like a tiny bit of like ivory black and well, you could take ivory black and you can use like a little bit of um, Russian blue and a little bit of red or, or crimson, a tiny bit, and it'll, it'll actually give it that little that purpley color in there. So, you know, maybe experiment with that. It's, uh, I've done it and it works. You have to get the mixtures and the ratios correct. All right, let me keep going. Love a few. A lot of paint on the brush. Brian, I I'm gonna explain all that stuff. Um, definitely about like how much I use and how much I don't use. And that's all stuff I'm doing on the, I'm gonna, we're gonna do on the channel membership page because it's very time consuming um, and it's a little bit more relaxed, you know, and everybody's there because they're, you know, they're, they're there for a reason. So it'll be much easier to do it over there. Okay, Belinda says, I want to start a YouTube channel. So how long can videos be when starting out? Is it hard to get started? How long can videos be when starting out? So I think if I'm correct or not, I think you can do, I think you can upload a 24 hour video. I don't know if there's a, I mean, I don't, there's not much of a limit. Um, is it hard? Nope, not at all. If you have a cell phone, you must, or a computer or something because you're on here. Use it. I was just telling that, that guy, uh, well, that was in here the other day, uh, if you guys saw that video, this guy was last summer was buying Chinese food outside. And he said the same thing. He was like, what's your thoughts on YouTube? And uh, I told him, I said, do it right now. So you gotta start right now. Stop playing games, get started. You gotta do what you gotta do. 
and he came back in here. It's been eight or nine months. He brought me, you know, some branded shirts that he made, and and uh, really, really nice guy. It, it, it just totally it made my week because I was having a really, really dark um, couple of days, you know, which is you know, you know me, you know, that's pretty common. But um, he uh, he brightened that up. So start now. Start. I mean, start right now. You know, um, if anything, look at it like this. You know, sometimes you just got to be careful about the people that'll discourage you. Like, for example, um, if you guys know, I put a lot of just things in the beginning of my videos. Like, maybe it has nothing to do with the picture I'm about to make, but I do that. It's almost like a journal for me. Like, I put, maybe it has family, or maybe it's me going somewhere, or where I've been, or traveled somewhere. Sometimes people will say, what's wrong with you? You put stuff in the beginning of your videos that just don't even make any sense. And, um, and that's okay, because I treat YouTube also as like a um you know like a um like a like a journal i guess or, or whatever so i would start now i would i would definitely it doesn't matter if you have something that you like to make and upload go ahead and do it don't um just the, the biggest 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 um advice the biggest advice that don't make sense the the best advice i can give you is just don't listen don't listen to um the neck like the negative comments just block them out pay attention to the positive ones Um, yeah. See here, I'm just looking through. Enjoy that I talk about myself. Yeah, hey, you know what? I, I'm going over to the Facebook, but I don't like the Facebook coffee because it's not that bad. I think I put, I think I put too much sugar in it. Yeah, no, it's like whatever, you know. I don't care. I mean, if if you know, if somebody's watching, if you don't like me, I don't care. Go go watch another channel, you know. I'm not perfect, and neither is anybody else, you know. I just um, my whole my whole reason for even doing YouTube, like I say this all the time, like I don't even know. I'm not even teaching this stuff. Like I don't know what I'm teaching, but I know that um, I lived a really a really hard and bad life, and then now it's a second life for me. So. To be up to just be really honest, I'm just trying to really do the best I can before I go, you know, and that's that's what I'm trying to do. And I think I'm just wanting to let people know that. Like, it's all right to um, it's all right if you're if you're not, you know, if you're not perfect, it's OK. You know, have all these flaws and you know you didn't live a good life up to this point, you know, because I'm a candidate of every one of those things. It's important to know that you're able to change you know, whenever you can change. You have to want to change, though. You have to want to. You have to believe that you can. You know, uh, with those two ingredients, anything is really possible. So that's what I like. That's what drives me to do this. It's I don't know that it's the painting. Um, still not sure where the painting came from because it came overnight for me. But you know, maybe it's just a sign or something. I don't know. But uh, for as bad as I was treated my whole life by people. Um, I care about people, so pretty ironic. All right, back to here I go, drifting, wandering. Let me go over to Facebook here. Oh my goodness, big long line. Um, remember, if I miss your, if I don't answer, if you ask something, I don't answer it, just look for the post. Q&As are not popular, are they? Um, I like your uh, iPad background. Got my message. Very nice. Whoever painted that picture, God bless them. I look like a doofus with things on. Hey, huh? Like I said, smart people would have actually put the questions out. I did not. If you would like to ask a question, now is the time. Andra, when was, oh, yeah, I remember you. You have one of my pictures, huh? Thank you very much. Today I am an inspiration. That is good to hear. I hope I can make your day. That's why I'm here, too. If I can make anybody's day, that would be great. Okay, let me go. Uh, da, da. Where's, I see Bram. Bram's here. Okay, Bram is in here. 
Nick is here. Listen, you guys got to go over there and subscribe to their channel. Nick, Nick's Oilscapes here. Happy Trees Art. Bram is in here. Make sure you subscribe to their channel. If you like what I'm doing, you're really going to like what they're doing. So make sure that you do that. I say that all the time because I mean it. I don't talk. I don't, um, I don't try to send people somewhere, you know, unless I really believe in it. Go head over there, please. You know, and Nick on here, he's a young man that I'm telling you right now, talk to me in five years, ten years from now. You're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that, hey, I was telling people to get over to that kid's channel. Keep him inspired. That's why I'm asking you to do that. It doesn't cost anything. Go over and support him. Um, okay, so back to me. My brain is wandering. Ah, it's God's here. Really, you've really helped me. Get and keep a positive attitude about life when you talk about your experience. Very similar circumstances, some very dark times, and that's the interesting thing. And I'm glad to hear I'm glad to hear comments like that because, you know, um, I don't I don't I still to this day. Um, I mean, all you gotta do is look into my eyes and my face. You can tell I don't think much of myself. I just don't, and it's okay. Like I don't. It's all right. It's just a thing. You know what I mean? Just life. It's just who I am. Um, but I, I like hearing that, you know, I don't know what that does something. It makes, um, it just makes the day better to know, like, it doesn't, if I'm, if I don't feel good or something, if I'm like, you know, having a really bad time, it's like, I don't even care anymore. If somebody, if I hear something like that, it's like the hell with me, you know, because, because I heard that and that's what matters. And that's actually a really, I'm really proud to, to have gotten to that point. You know, Cause it's nothing is about me at this point. I just got so I just got so passionate about you know being able to um, to try to help people. You know, there was a really nice lady that came in here the other day with her daughter, and uh, her daughter was interested in painting, and we talked for about 30 minutes. And I, I, I you know, just I just my, on myself, you know, I don't script anything or whatever. And we talked, and I sent her, I sent her daughter with a painting that I did that I'm putting in a book. I just gave it to her, you know, whatever. I, I of course I needed it for that, but doesn't matter it's just a materialistic thing I'll make another one but it was it was um, there was a reason I did it and it just uh, I don't want to get into the details but it really um, it showed that it helped that conversation really helped so very nice uh, it was a good night where was that question at I saw where was it yeah I'm so sorry about the not putting a list up that's that's called acting before thinking which is the story of my life as well which it comes good to when you start painting. Just don't think about it. You just do it. I do everything else the same way. Sometimes that's just not. Don't take my. Don't do that. Don't follow me there. Um, okay. How did you make your? Oh, Nick. How did I make my logo? That's my man, Brett Stuhler, Tattooing Body Art. Two doors. One, two, two doors down. He's the tattoo artist here, in the uh, in the awesome complex that we're in. He made the logo. I just did the the weird, stuff, not the weird, cool stuff around it, like the um. What is that, like a light white or whatever, and did the spire. I put that on there. He, he drew it, though. He did both of my logos, which this is still my main. That's my logo right there. The one that he did is for product placement. That's why that one. I'm going to be putting that on, um, like, paint sets and brushes and, you know, whatever else I, you know, make. Um, so... Over here to Facebook. Kind of going backwards. So Deanna said, "Do you ever do you ever varnish over your oil paintings? What types of brushes do you use?" Now, I don't think I, I actually I, I varnished one painting in my entire life, and uh, and that's the one that you have, Bram. That's the one I sent to you. That that tree. Um, that is the only one that I ever varnished, and. I don't remember the name of the, the stuff that I used. Um, I used it because it smelled good. And I know that doesn't make sense, but it was like a personal preference. Um, that's why I did that. And what types of brushes do I use? Um, I just use mine. I had my own brushes manufactured um, about I don't know, a year and a half ago. Uh, big long story, I've told it a hundred times. Um, I piped them up and I, you know, I put them out for sale I sold every last one of them in like 48 hours. 
And then uh, I've never been able to get them after that. I, um, I called the manufacturer, I emailed them back and forth. I, I had the orders been in. Um, they just don't, they just don't send them. It presses me because I really like my brushes and I, that's why I still use them all the time. So uh, I don't know, the whole COVID thing happened and, and I know they shut down for a long time. So I think they're just like way behind is what I think. Where am I at with time? My mind yet? Here, let me check uh, Facebook. Do you guys like it? I mean, I don't, I don't know how many people could actually like me sitting here talking, but I'm trying to give you value well, information. I don't want to call it valuable, but it's uh, it's information, which I have to say something, but I'm not going to say that before until I get ready to end it. Um, but it's, I think it's important. Um, it's something that I'm going to putting a lot of time into, and I just, I'm going to, you know, invite everybody that wants to go to it if you want to, if you want to. And it's something that I've never done before. I can tell you that. So I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, Amy, I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry to hear about that. Keep doing your thing, you know. Definitely sorry to hear about that. I've, there's been a lot of that this year. I'm just definitely uh, hoping, uh, you know, hoping that things get better for everybody. Okay, okay, Kim, Kim, love to learn how to paint the desert good idea i was in the desert once i've um, never painted a desert but yeah you know i'm gonna do all that stuff so <clears throat> um one of the things that i'm gonna do on the youtube channel memberships page is we're gonna do i'll just say this is not what i was gonna talk about but, but one of the things i'm gonna do is this all right so pay close attention if you're, you're either interested or you're not interested but um to the members that are on there now this is the very very first thing that we're gonna do is this so if you want to start doing this now, I'll, I'll officially put something out for you guys to read. But everybody's, well, some people sketch, right? And when I say sketch, I mean like, not like this big detailed sketch. Like, my sh can you see? see my shirt? See that? That looks like a three-year-old sketched it, literally. Maybe two-year-old, not even a three-year-old. And that is like one of my main logos. And the point of this is simplicity. A lot of people don't know that. But the reason I did, it looks, you can tell it looks like some weird form of scribbly landscape. But I did that purposely because I wanted to show like effortlessness. Is that even a word? I'm not sure. It is a word to me and it sounds appropriate for what I'm trying to talk about. No effort, okay? That's what I wanted to show in this, in this logo right here. So my point, here we go, drifting again. So my point is for the channel members or if you wanna go sign up, if you wanna go sign up on the YouTube channel membership, just go to YouTube, go to the About Me section thingy, and it'll say Join Membership. I can't put a link because if I touch my laptop, I'll lose the feed, I'll have an anxiety attack, and uh, we'll be over for the night. But, um, channel members, you want to start doing sketches of a landscape. No humans, dogs, deers, you know, rabbits, or anything like that. If you want to sketch out a landscape, um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to paint every single one of your sketches. Here's what you're gonna do, you're gonna submit it to me, I'll give you all the instructions on that, and we're gonna do an entire series where I'm gonna paint your sketches, I'm gonna bring them to life. And I think that is probably one of the most, you know, coolest things that I've thought of in a while, and I don't know your thoughts on it, but, but I think it would be great. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. Um, so if you wanna start sketching, if anybody, you know, there are some people on here, that, on channel members, start sketching away I'll turn it into something I'll either do two things I'll either make something you know decent nice or I will fail miserably either way you know anyways off topic um, um I gotta say something real quick while I'm looking for a question here so the video the other day that I um, that I made did anybody catch that part where I started to drift off a little bit? Did anybody catch that? Well, it's interesting. You notice me laughing a little? I laughed, right? You notice that? Well, let me tell you, that was called playing it off. Like I was playing some, I was just playing it off. And that happens a lot. Like I don't think, 
I don't think most people know the things that I deal with in, in upstairs every day, um, but I'm a strong person and I get through every single day, right? And I also do what I'm doing to try to help other people. So just if you, if you watch the video, go back, watch that. Watch that one little part. It's within the first three minutes. Like, you'll see it. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. Very interesting. And maybe one day I'll, I'll elaborate on it. But I have to, uh, I have to, you know, play it off, fight it off. All right, question about the highlights on mountains. Any suggest uh, and suggest any suggestions to make make them break? Is is it just the paint hitting the canvas or top of the knife to touch the canvas? Okay, so Chris, check this out, man. Um, I'm gonna be so super upfront and honest with you. It don't matter how you hold the knife. It just doesn't. It just doesn't matter. If you, as a matter of fact. If a matter of fact, you want my very next video, my very next video, here's what I'm going to do. Remember I said this. Let me make sure. Chris Faulkner. Okay, yeah, I got you. Right there. My very next video, I'll make a mountain, right? I'm not going to use the blade. I'm going to make a mountain, and I'm going to use the wooden handle part to make the snow break. I'm serious. It's no, I'm not being sarcastic. It doesn't, in my opinion, it's my opinion, my, and remember, I am not art educated whatsoever if i if i had to have like a grade like a school grade for like artwork it would be an f minus so but i can show you how to make snow break with the wooden handle and i will so just keep keep, keep an eye out my very next video i will remember that i think people get so tied up and frustrated in what angles do you use in this and this and that and and in the meantime i'm back here just like making a snowball and just throwing it at the canvas and then work with it. And when you get it on there, um, there's a lot of other things that come into play with that, but I, I would really love to help you guys. And that's one of the thing that I'm using YouTube channel memberships for that reason. That's what I'm using it for. I want, I want to take that platform there or that sub platform and turn it into like a teaching place, like almost like a, not a school and do that, but like, you know, somewhere where I can teach people and I can just, I can, Give my thoughts or if i want to go live and start talking about something last minute i can do that that's what i'm doing there okay, um i've been neglecting you hold on be right back facebook all right what do we got here what do we got here what do we got here oh ready okay um i have it hanging here okay bram you got that painting hanging here in front of you thanks buddy you said it's beautiful well well, you know, I, I wanted to, I, that was one that I really liked. That's why I sent it to you. I wanted to send it to you is, uh, you know, because you're much appreciated, man. Very, very appreciated. Um, how do you clean your brushes? How long does that take? Seconds, literally, because um, I can't stand the, the thought of paint thinner. So I just, like, literally just get in there and just, just beat it all over the place and just freaking clean it off and wipe it on paper towels and just I run out the door when I'm done. I don't like paint thinner because paint thinner has... Um, had certain you know effects on me uh and uh it's just it's dangerous like it's definitely dangerous so just maybe uh I, there's like different soap cleaners and stuff like that and i had a couple manufacturers send me stuff but i never spoke about it uh, because it was just like a gimmick it was like a marketing thing i used it it sucked so i wasn't gonna you know they were offering me money to you know to push it to everybody you know safe cleaner like now keep your money money I care about my people so that's why I never spoke about that Jake my, that's my man right there my beast son is on here Look at that what up dad Whew, crazy this kid would whoop my behind any day of the week better be careful better be careful I got good kids very very lucky I got good I got a good family good good family amazing good to see you here Jake Good to see you here, buddy. Man, that just made my night. Made my—I don't know—it's something about. Something made, I'm very grateful. A grateful person. The fact that I can have my 15-year-old son who would be interested in watching one of my, you know, so-called boring Q and As or whatever this is, just me not venting, but just having a good time talking to people. You never know. Maybe I need to talk to people too. Every, you know, maybe it helps me just like it helps you. Never know. I'll never give. You Got to remain somewhat of a mystery. Hey, what's up, buddy? I see you here. I see you here. Those eyes, those eyeballs. I don't know. I don't know what that means, dude. But 
Am I t am I talking too much? But um, what's your favorite Bob Ross painting? Interesting. Hold on. Would you want me? Do you want me to get it? Because I re I made it. Like I actually, well, I made two of them. One is at home because I that's how much I like it. And I have the other one over here. You just you just give me a thumbs up or something, and I'll I'll walk over here. It's like three and a half seconds to the left. Rip it off the wall, and I'll show you. Piddle now, that's forever. But when you were drifting, I saw that and was yelling at you to leave the fence alone. No, I wasn't drifting at the fence. I was drifting before I even started the painting. Um, hold on, I'm not with you, Facebook. Give me one second. Yeah, listen to Allie about the soap cleaning thing. Dawn dish soap and all that stuff. Like, either, yeah, I'm telling you, recommendations, find like a mother or a wife or something like that to tell you how to clean the brushes. Don't listen to what I'm saying. It means you're watching. Okay, I got you, Jay. That's right. I got you. I see you. I see you brother. All right, let's see. All right, hold on. One second. Hold on. Where are you at? Hold on, I know you're there. Come on. Don't. Can you hear me? Um, road wireless go. I don't want that mic. I want my, that's the one I want. Okay, you guys can hear me. Okay, so. All right, so back to the Bob Ross. This is one of them right now, this is, okay, all right, so truth be told, um, I made two of them because I sold one. Sold one, here's the other one. Comes. A little quick peek. Yeah, that's right there. See it? Okay, that Bob made. And obviously Bob's is better, so I don't even, you know, don't even go there. And all that stuff. But it was the point. I liked it. Um, the original painting was here in this building. Um, Andy brought it in here one day when Steve was here and Dana and all them guys doing their workshops. He brought the original painting in. I had trouble speaking after that because I was paying attention to anybody. I was sitting in the corner, like, you know, touching it and stuff. So um, I, I just made it. I just painted it. I painted that in my kitchen. I needed to know those details, but, you know, I liked it and I was relaxed and I, just, I painted two of them. Okay, let's see here. I watch so much of what you do. It's amazing. Self-taught. Your gift is awesome. Do you always do sketching? Since watching you, I do a lot better. Thank you so much for sharing. That is so, uh, that is, I, I just like hearing that stuff, you know? I mean, I like hearing, thanks. That's cool. That's a great comment. You know, I, you'll never know what that, like that stuff does for me, you know? Well, you know, never know, but thank you. And I'm glad to hear that. I really am. I really I, I could say it a thousand times, but I'm not going to. So thank you for telling me. And thank you for everybody else that decides to tell me. Let's see here. Steve Sippler. What's up, brother? We got to play some music together, man. Come on, one of these times. Thanks for complimenting on the paintings. I've texted you. Your thoughts and encouragement keeps me going. Scott, you're a good painter, man. Don't listen. I appreciate you like the, like my compliments, or, you know, that I send you, but they're they're very true. Um, but it's you, man. Like you're you're the one who created those really really nice pieces. So pat yourself on the back, bro. Real man. You're good. You're a good painter. Keep painting. Got it. You know, you'll have a good future. I see it. I can see it in the pictures you send me. When you send me a picture, and it pops up, and I and I, I stop for a second because it's 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 like that. Keep doing. I see you posting on that little uh, paintings by Justin community thing, you know, on Facebook. I see all your pictures on there, man. I'm a really busy guy, and uh, you know, if I don't ever get back to somebody, don't ever take offense to it. But I have. Um, I'm trying to think of the term. I got too many um, logs in the fire. No, I, I don't know the terms. I'm not smart like that. But like, I got too many damn things going on all over the place. Okay, Bob is his, yours is yours. That's right, that's right. You're the man, though. 
Like the farm barn picture, yeah. Right, all right, let me que questions here. I'm going, okay. Okay, I left off, let me see. Questions. If you'd like to ask a question, now would be the appropriate time. So I don't sit here and look like a sitting duck in front of the uh, in front of the thing because I'm I I, I don't have thing. I can talk. I believe me, I can talk. I've spoken in front of crowds of people. You know, I've done a lot of stuff. I'm good. I, I love talking, but the problem is I don't know when to stop. Like you know what I'm saying? One of them things. What I need is I need to have like my manager sitting next to me to tell me like zip it, zip it. Hey, I'm just. Have no meaning, like I, you know, filter as in, you know, myself. Like, and I'm not talking about curse words or stuff like that. All right. Go see. Nice to see you here, Donna Warren. So it's so good to see you. On, you know, if you could, for me, if you could tell, uh, if you could tell Robert, I would, you know. I would really love to um, to come down to Ohio and just maybe maybe like spend a day or two um, and just you know with him. I don't know if that would be possible or not, but please let him know that that's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Uh, Robert Warren has got to be like one of my most favorite people on on this planet. He is uh, he's he's one of them guys that you meet and he. You know, he just will resemble like he's that father or that that big brother or he's he's so many things. Not to mention, um, definitely got to be probably one of, if not the most talented people I've ever seen in my life or met. So if you could ask him that, I would I would uh, it would mean a lot if one of these days I could, you know, maybe just come spend a few days with him. Not even paint. I mean, I'd love painting, but even if it's just a talk or, or whatever. One of my favorite people. Oh, the last. Oh, okay. Hey, man. Good to see you, dude. Sorry. I, I just, you know, I don't, I can see certain things, but I can't, you know, those things kind of hard to tell, you know what I mean? But that's cool. Glad to see you too, man. Miss them conventions. Miss popping in on you in those conventions. Maybe soon in the future. But I would lo I'd love to see you, man. I really would. I have a lot to tell you. A lot. Maybe one day. Let me know. Too many irons in the fire. That's right. Okay. That, that's the saying I was looking for. Am I going to paint with acrylics again? Yes, I am. I am. And that's, um, that's another area I'm going to focus on, too. Like, um... I've, I've painted some things in acrylic. I don't, you guys would have to be the judge of how they look. Does anybody want to see one? I, I need a thumbs up. I'm, I'm, I'll go back to YouTube. Look, here we go. Here we go. I'm like, whew. looking at the time, two phones, two coffees. Does anybody, do you want to see an acrylic? I have an acrylic painting. I have to stand up and show it. You got to give me a thumbs up or something or, or a yes or a, I will go, it's right there, it's big. I did an acrylic, it was, it was a while ago, I did it, and I, I just, I kept it, so I never got rid of it. You wanna see it? All right, I think you wanna see it. Okay, I'm going to get it. I'm not gonna put the cord in my mouth this time, though. That was, that was dumb, hold on. So this is acrylic. Nothing special. But I made this. 
Everything's opposite. If I want it to go. Okay. Getting close. Anyways, that was acrylic. So, oh. oh my stuff in the cool. I painted that I think last year. I think. Okay. So I hope you guys like that. iPhone. Okay, so let me get, let me leave Facebook for a minute to go to YouTube. Okay, so people like it. Okay, that's cool. Great. Glad to see it. Or glad to see the that you like it, you know? So that was the uh, the second acrylic painting that I ever did. I don't know anything about acrylic. I use golden acrylic paints. When I say second, like the second full painting. I messed around with them a little bit, but I never finished anything really. Your acrylics are awesome. I found your channel searching for open acrylic. Okay, cool. Went straight to oils after watching a couple of your videos. All right. I like it. And uh, by the way, you know, I've used, I know I've used uh, Gamblin for a very, very long time. Um, I don't even think I, I even announced that thing. I did switch paints. I did switch oil paints. Um, if anybody's interested to know, to know that, you'll have to let me know. But I did switch. And um, I got to say two things, and I'll say them in one second. question now would be the time to ask because we're going to go for maybe five more minutes and then i'm i'm just i admit i'm the laptop down stop let me tell you about the paints okay so if anybody uses gambling out there gambling is um one of the best paints in the world i think i really do um they're what i like about them is they're a, you know those headphones have <laughs> let me just let me just let me tell you where my brain's at so you guys can understand just what type of person I am. I wore those <laughs> I wore those headphones the entire time. It didn't work the entire time. Like I couldn't hear anything through them. So if that gives you a little insight on how flawed I am, I just wore a pair of big goofy headphones on a live stream that did nothing. So I hope uh, I hope your day um, in hindsight just got a little bit. Yeah. Paint, Gamblin, great company. They believe in their products, um, and I, I have I have a lot of Gamblin paint that I that I will use. But but I switched paint, and number one, um, they were you know they were sent to me, um, but it was it was from Jerry's Jerry's Artorama. For those of you that don't know, I'm doing some stuff with them, and uh, I'm going to be selling stuff, I guess at Jerry's. So. Which one of the things I'm work, trying to work on is the, this whole brush line thing because I really believe in the brushes that I made. I just need, I think I need to personally go to the manufacturer and maybe like knock on the guy's door and say, hey, you know, with the pro, like what's going on? You all good? Would you like me to make the brushes? So I don't want to get them anywhere else because I personally believe they're good brushes. And there's some people have them. I, they bought them when I had them. So, um, anyways, Jerry's Artorama, they sent me different paints of paint and the, the one I'm about to tell you in a few minutes I used it and uh, it was just like it was like night and day it was like my life changed after I used it and I, I can't give you details on what or how but it was just a combination of things you know the feeling the texture the the way it was applied there, there's a lot of different things and it's it's pretty cool so me before I do that because we're about to end here in a few All right Dead Ray says is there an easy way to put in grass rubbery problems with that there is there is there is several of those 
um, which is going to lead to what I'm going to say on my exit approach. Will you ever try to paint deep space galaxies? Well, Damien, the way my brain is headed, you know, you may just see some black holes coming on the canvas. I'm not sure. You never know. You never know. But all joking aside, mate, I don't know. I think that would be pretty cool to paint a galaxy, actually. Something like that. I've never done it. So maybe that's something to think about. Appreciate the uh, the heads up there. I'll put a thought in the brain. What did you switch to for oil paints? I just switched to gambling from Winston Newton. I prefer gambling. Yeah, Michael, gam you're, I'm telling you, gambling is top notch. And I, I'll never stop using gambling. But, um, but uh, you know, I'll tell you in a second what this other stuff is. Nick, the editing software that I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a live subscription um, that I pay for monthly. It's not like downloaded on a disc or, or a thingy, thingy that you pop in the thing on the side. It's just a live version of Adobe. I have the Adobe Suite, like everything, Lightroom and uh, After Effects and all, all those things. And I personally think that that's the best. And I've been through a lot of editing softwares and I like, um, I like Adobe uh, Premiere Pro. Okay, uh, let me just check Facebook. Does any, anybody have any last, like, last important things? Because maybe one more. Anybody wants to know anything? Maybe you don't want to know anything. Maybe you're all just bored sitting around like, well, maybe this guy's better than watching the news. Sending love. You touch my heart with your honesty. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys touch my heart. All right, let's... Making sure I'm trying to miss anything for my buddy, Robert. Miss anything. Miss that guy. It's like a big teddy bear. You know? Good dude. Um... And okay, just looking through your stuff here. I'm over on YouTube. Um, so. I wanted to paint clear water. You can see the rocks. Okay, so Scott, yeah, you're already there, buddy. You're already on the channel thing, the channel members. Um, I'll say that one second. Lisa just got here. How late are you? You're about as late as I am for everything that I do. So that's really late. But you can watch it back. It'll it'll upload because we're going to get ready to finish. But there's a lot of a lot of maybe good information. You'll have to ask the other people in the comments. I don't know. I just gave a bunch of info here, answered a few questions. Ever use the older formula of Bob Ross paint oil? I understand it's different, and you know what? Very different, Belinda. It's very very different, and I do. I have I have some of the I have I stocked up on the old Bob Ross paint. You know, it's more of a personal thing with me. Um, I just like to, you know, see that friendly face on my tubes of paint. Just makes my life better. So yeah, I have plenty of that. The new stuff, right in the dumpster. Sorry about that, BRI, but yeah, like I think Bob was alive today. Pissed. Didn't even know him. I feel like I know him. Maybe I do. Maybe. He would be pissed off. Trust me, because I did use it. Nothing like the. What are your thoughts about Buck Paulson's artwork? Ooh. Okay, so, all right. This is the point where you may say, what are you, an idiot? Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? I don't. It sounds familiar. Um, and in case you don't know me, right? In case you don't know me. Okay, so look. I just rolled into the art game, just re like not that long ago, rolled in by severe, desperate circumstances. Okay, so I never got a chance to study it or study. I've met artists uh, in my little journey here, but I do apologize, but I I'm gonna look him up. It's, it sounds familiar, but I don't know him off the top of my head, and that's not any kind of like a, a bad thing. Um, it's just because I'm very uneducated in the art world. Jesso your canvases. No, some. Nope, don't gesso them at all. Nope. Doesn't matter what I'm painting on. You know what? As a matter of fact, I got a bunch of murals in the world now. Not a bunch, maybe 10 or 15. Paint right on the sheetrock. If it's a rule, like, that's how, I, like, if somebody says it's a rule, I just make sure to break it because, like, I don't, 
I don't want to do anything that's supposed to be right. I want to do. Ev I want to just like do everything the way it's not supposed to be done and still achieve a result. And the only reason it's not because I think I'm great because I don't think I'm great. Clear that up real quick. I do that because I want you or somebody else that's watching that just went through all this bullshit to try to make this painting and you followed all these appropriate steps and you gessoed it 25 times and you sanded it down and then you did this that none of it's necessary for me maybe just everybody's different not for me i'm here because i need it i need to do this that's why uh, i don't want all the extra stuff i want to put paint down on a canvas go home so i can wake up tomorrow that's what i want to do i don't want 25,000 steps so just in case anybody thought I was like, you know, cocky about it. So, um, I just want the quickest result of my heart and my mind. Show you. Do the black coffee. And here, okay, is it normal for my paintings to take a week or more to dry? Beginner, the humidity, 25 degrees. 100%. It's normal. It's normal. I've had them dry in four days. I've had, had them dry in 24 days. It depends on a lot. Um, the longer that you look at it, though, it will take longer to dry. You know, so don't look at it. Let the painting fairies come and do their thing. So don't look at it. Um, hey, just got on. I started painting because I needed a hobby. Bob Ross said I can do it. Well, Bob is right because you can do it. That is for sure. Bob is very, very correct. So take his word for it. Your paint, uh, right? Your painting. Let's see, hey Justin, I don't know who he was until recently. Buck is very motivating. You will enjoy him. Well, Rick, thank you, Rich. I'm sorry, not Rick. Thanks. No, thanks for dropping his name. I think I've heard it. I'm gonna. As soon as I'm done here tonight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look him up. Not while I'm driving. But I'm gonna look him up. And uh, I, I've heard that name. I just don't know who he is. And that's great. I love motivational people. I wish I would have had one five years ago. Besides, obviously, Bob Ross, but. A motivational artist, there's a lot involved that, that people don't know. Uh, many of us come to painting after dealing with something else in life. Why do you feel painting is so therapeutic for people? And what are the major lessons you feel painting teaches? Pretty good question. Although I suck at compound answers or questioning answers, qu answering. Painting, people come, people do come to painting after dealing with something else in life. Um, I'm not gonna say, everybody should know already why I started painting, you know what I mean? Um, I, uh, I, you know, I didn't wanna be here anymore, you know? I didn't wanna be here. And the most uncoincidental, strangest circumstances happened in my life, you know? And this started the next day, that night, something like that. But the reason, I don't know why people come to it. Like, it was put in front of me. Like, um, I don't know if I've ever told anybody that, it was put in front of me. Like, it was, I mean, it was, like, seriously slapped into my face in the weirdest way. Um, luckily, very lucky. So, but, um, but had it not been done like that, ooh, I don't know if, I don't know if I would have came. Maybe, maybe, but I know this. Let me, let me read, because I forget things. Let me read the second part. Why is it so therapeutic for people? So that's the, that's the three-part question. You must be, like, a genius or something. Um... That was the dumbest thing ever. No, like, I, it's a very good question. It, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a very good question. So, it's, okay, so create, now look, people are going to say I'm wrong, but this is, when I speak, it's about myself. I don't speak for somebody else or this or that, but creation, um, creation beats depression. Creation battles depression. Creation fights depression. When you create, there's, I don't know what they're called. There's these things in your brain. I'm, and I'm, I'm talking to you like, what I, you know, I don't know, sawdust in my brain. I don't know what's up there. But um, when I create stuff, okay, example, very serious here. Let's say I'm in a really not right spot, okay? Not not feeling it. Um, you know, feel like it's coming here. Got to fight it, right? Got to fight it and try to show people that they can do it. Time. See, I'm drifting again. When you start creating, I notice. I feel bad. Start painting. Bad anymore. It's like I can feel the weight lifting off. Like it doesn't. Painting is like taking away some of the worst things. 
um, worst thoughts and worst things. So I don't know the exact answer. And I think the best answer I can give you I think this is why I practically beg people to do it. You know, I don't beg, I don't, I don't say all this and I'm not here to sell you a course, right? On how to win depression or whatever. Obviously I gotta make money and try to teach people and do it that way so I can even do this, but it's a, it's a, it's like a miracle or something. It's like a miracle. It's, it's definitely, definitely the reason that I'm sitting here breathing, talk. And it, and it helps, like, got to just throw this out there, too. You know, what I did for, <coughs> yeah, almost five, what I did almost five years ago, never, that never entered my mind ever again. After I started painting, I might have bad days, never that bad. There's a lot. Watching your, one of my favorite comments right there. Watching your videos, I started painting again after 20 years. Like, it's a powerful, thank you. That's cool. That's good stuff right there. Wow. Time stands still. Hours can go by. That is correct. My condition previously active. Man, if these painting columns helps me to dwell on all, yeah, helps you dwell, not dwell on everything, you know? Wow, it's amazing. Um, listen, all right, let me, let me, let me, my exit strategy here. I have a lack of confidence. How do you get over that? Donna, I have a lack of confidence in everything. I have a, okay, let me try to, let me try to make sense of that. I have a lack of confidence. Right answer. Let me rephrase that. I have a lack of self esteem, self, self esteem. My confidence come, comes from, I don't care. When I say I don't care, I don't care. When I'm making something, I don't care if it looks like dirt, you know, or if it looks nice when I'm done. Only thing that I care about is that I don't feel the way I did when I started. That's the only thing I care about. And I think confidence will come if you can start to think like that. I'm not trying to get a nice picture. I'm, I'm searching, I'm after a feeling here for. I'm not trying to make a nice painting. I just want that feeling. And the more I want that feeling, more nice people say my pictures are the more I need the feeling. It's actually very interesting. Maybe sometime I'll talk more about that. But I always have to remember I don't want to ever I have to draw a fine line because I don't want people to think I'm like a weirdo or anything like that, which I really don't care anyways. I've had some really cool things happen. Things that would be um maybe considered borderline like unbelievable. Searching for that feeling. Um, let's see here. Thank you for all you share with us. Thank you for being so honest and it have helped me through some low points. So glad, uh, Tamara. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you for saying that. Thank ev I just want to thank everybody. No, oh, I'm not boring. Amy, thank you. Have you painted any scenes of the local pine lands? Ruth, yes, ma'am. I should have. I haven't shown them. I have. Maybe I'll show them. Ending love. Okay. I have like 200 paintings I've never showed anybody. Don't ask me why. Just another thing that was planted in my head to do. I don't know who planted it, but interesting. All right. Not weird, just like a lot of us. All right. Okay. Here's what I'm doing. Check this out. I, am I frozen yet? Am I still live? I'm actually still live. Okay, here we go. So here's what I've decided to do. I will state this and then I'm gonna run out this door quickly so I can go to bed. I realized the other day, and I, just, I said this earlier in the video. Um, wait, I, uh, Tracy, plan on going ghost hunting again soon? Listen, the answer to that, no, never, never, none, done. done one and three and done, one and done, no more of that. Number one, I wasn't doing it. I was just the camera person, right? I like, expl I just have to say this. I know this is not relevant to this channel, but there's some people watch it. I started the Urban Explorations YouTube channel. If anybody wants to go over there and subscribe, yes, there's gonna be content there, but there will be no more of that with me. I will not be present in those scenes. Niles likes doing that stuff, but I don't. 
And you know another thing I don't like? I don't like the fact of every time I got close, these, these whatevers would start speaking and I walk away and then they shut up. I don't like that based on everything else that's happened in front of my face in the last five years. I didn't like that. I'm not one of those people. I do like exploring history and things like that. So the videos that come out will be, I, I don't care if the place is scary or not, but there will be no more um, for me. If Niles does it, that's one thing. That video took me five days to edit because every time I opened my laptop to edit it, I got, I, I don't, I like froze. Like, um, I'm not into that stuff. Um, you know, I have, I want that light to be around me, not the dark. You know what I mean? People that are dead, let them be. No, there will not be any. I, I can say one thing. If I continued to do that, everything that's here around me would be go away. And I felt that, like I felt it. I'm not messing with that. So I hope that answered your question. Here we go. So the uh, the one girl, uh, which was Devin's uh, girlfriend from the, it's a pretty cool Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. It's interesting. If you've never seen it, you should go watch it. Um, a lot of relative things, okay? Um, M, all that. So she messaged me and, and sent me the picture, and I, and I said, well, I'll, I'll try to do it, but I'll do the best I can. I made the tutorial for her. She started painting. I'm not going to get into the why, but very, very nice people. It made me think. I got done making that painting. I was like, whoa, that's cool. I just kind of did it. Like, you know, you know, in practice, I just kind of did it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a live event. It's going to be a paid event. I have to put a lot into this. Here's what's happening. Let's just say if I was to say, hey, we're having a workshop, you know, before the pandemic or whatever, like everybody would sign up and they'd fly all around and come here, right? You know, and it was like $125 to do the workshop for whatever, six, seven hours. Here's what's happening. Probably in the next two two weeks to three weeks, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it any day now. I'm doing a live event. It's going to be on Zoom. It's going to be six hours long. Six hours to microphone six hours it's going to be and um what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a real photo and i'm going to sit there and i'm going to i'm going to tell you every single thing that's on my mind about it what i'm doing show you everything that i'm everything and, and it's going to not just apply to that it's going to apply to anything that you do going into the future i'm confident in doing that now after painting that picture like i can do it and i can give great advice so I think I'm going to do, I don't know the price. It's not going to be $125. It's probably going to be half around 50, 75 bucks, something like that. I'm only taking a number of people, you know, I don't know him. I'll see, but, um, because I'm going to interact with the people like, you know, if you have a question, stuff like that, be on zoom, it's going to be a very, very good thing. I'm going to tell you that right now. I would never normally say that, but I'm super excited about it because the feeling that I got when I made this the other day is just, it's just one that I haven't gotten yet um, because I wasn't sure. Normally I go in and I'm like, yeah, I could spit out a landscape for everybody, no problem. Well, this was different. I was happy with it. And I feel like if I show that to people in a workshop form online where I can control it and not be so like, you know, hurrying, hurrying all the time, I think that you're gonna benefit from it. So if you guys are interested, make sure that you pay attention because I'm gonna put the link out soon. It'll be on Zoom. Uh, we're going to do, it'll be a Zoom thing, or maybe Facebook Live. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be one or the other. There will be all the information. Um, you know, you'll have to get the invitation sent to you after you get the ticket and all that stuff, put a password in, whatever, all the technical stuff. But I'm telling you, I am excited about it, and I'm excited for, for a number of reasons, and I, I just, I really believe this is going to help people. I, and I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just, I'm, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on upstairs in this brain of mine, but... I know it's going to help people. It's going to help people say, oh, wow, I took a photograph of my backyard today. Psh, I can paint that now because I don't claim to be a good teacher. I just I just tell you my honest things in my brain, like what's going on. That's that's the truth. I'll never say, oh, I'm, not, I'm a great teacher. I'm, I'm great because I don't think I am. But I do know one thing that I am, and that's up front and I'm honest. I tell you stuff. 
I think that's even better than maybe a great teacher or whatever. Some people, or I'll get all the comments now. You're a great teacher. Shut up. Um, you should sign up. And you know, I'm putting a lot into it. So it's to me, it's it's definitely justified to be a paid event. But some people won't like that. And I'm sorry about your luck if you send me a whatever message or you don't. Like it. You know, because I, when I put a lot of time into something, I have to be reimbursed or I can't sit here and do stuff like this. So please have an open mind. Lisa, thank you. Such a thank you for sharing your story and paintings. Thank you so much. I appreciate the donation. I appreciate everybody's donations. Um, they do help. I don't, I stopped. I was asking people to donate in the live streams, but here's, here's my deal. I'm going to say this before I leave out of here. I, I'm not asking people to, like, I'm not, when I, I have my link there, I'm like, look, if you want to go ahead, if not, whatever. But I'm not asking people throughout the videos anymore because here's how I look at it. If I'm not supposed to be here, I'm not going to be here. That's it. If, if I'm supposed to be doing this, something's, something in my life will, will work out. Um, and it'll happen. If not, I won't. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to sit around and think about that. It's what it is. So, the people that did, thank you. I appreciate you. I could say more, but I can't. So, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take off. I'm gonna, I, I have to work on this live, this actual event. It's probably gonna be one of the best things I've ever done, in my opinion. So, thank you guys very much. Have a great night. Sorry for boring the hell out of you for the last oh, 15 minutes. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go and hit the stop button. Wait, wait, I wanna do something cool. Hold up. Hold on. One cool thing. Cause I'm like a DJ now, right? Here we go. I am a DJ. Five. Come on, baby. Start it over. Watch this. Watch these DJ moves right here. <clears throat> so, on my way out, let me just do a quick. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the things, and uh, I will definitely see you in the very next video. Thank you. You guys are very inspiring. I love all of you guys. Thanks for watching. Now just listen to like two seconds of the song. I'll hit the end button and then uh, everybody can go to bed. So, I have a great time doing this. I have a great, I'm, I'm happy. If you cannot see that, look, I'm, I'm like talking about painting. It makes me happy. The music is probably over my voice, but peace out guys. I love you.